Hello, my name is Jill Taylor and I'm Key Stage Manager for Year 10. This message is just to update you about how we're doing in our four steps to 11 strategy for our Year 10 pupils. Step one is well underway in this fact that we've been asking members of staff to let your child know where they've missed work, where the gaps in their knowledge are, encourage them to catch up on any work they hadn't done during that lockdown period. We're now moving into step two. And step two is our 20 hour challenge. And this does involve them doing some work over Easter, which I am going to be honest with you, has gone down a little bit like a lead balloon. However, we think it's really important for pupils having just got back into that habit of learning and that habit of routine to actually maintain that learning habit over our very long 17 day Easter holiday. We're going to encourage, or we do encourage, all pupils to do this challenge. Every subject has set two hours worth of work as a standard challenge or as a platinum challenge. Those pupils who do have gaps in their understanding, we would like them to complete the standard challenges for those subjects. So even if your son or daughter has done all their work and done it amazingly, the challenges are there for them to either consolidate their work and improve work that they've done, help them understand a little bit better some of the work perhaps they've done in lockdown, or extend their knowledge and understanding, increase the depth of knowledge of a subject by looking at the platinum challenges. Over this next week, all pupils will be guided by their form tutors as to which subjects they need to do challenges for or they should be concentrating their challenge work on. So this is using their SAR data. So if their um, attitude to learning is, requires improvement or serious concern, they really do need to do that work. And similarly, if their attainment is not quite where we want it to be, again, we would be encouraging them to do that work to catch up and consolidate their knowledge. Every pupil will fetch that home so that you can see it and they will also fetch home a menu so that you can see exactly what work's being set by each subject. And that menu is also going to be available on the website. Please encourage your son or daughter to do this work because it is going to have a big impact on their learning if they have these gaps in their knowledge and we want them to be the best that they can be. We have got to prepare them for their GCSE summer exams next year because you know we're planning for and expecting them to go ahead as usual. So we have to have them in the best place that they can be. So all the challenges for all the subjects will be on Teams as an assignment. If there's an issue with them accessing the work on Teams, be it a software issue, using computers or can't access the internet, please get in touch with us and let us know because we might be able to help you sort these kinds of problems out. So after Easter, we are moving into step three of our four steps to year 11 plan. And we have got the opportunity to offer some pupils some tuition in small groups in school. We have based this on our understanding of their gaps in their knowledge. If your child's been selected for this process, we will be contacting you uh, with a consent form and can I please encourage you to return that consent form as soon as possible so we can get the tuition started promptly after the Easter holidays. All we're trying to do here is make sure that your child is in the best place they can possibly be for the start of year 11 and have the best opportunity in their GCSEs. So the final of our four steps to year 11 are the assessments which are going to be held in June. These are going to be formal exams held in the classroom for every subject. And we will re be reporting the results of these examinations on their SAR alongside their predicted grades and their target grades so that, we can, so that you can see and we can see where the gaps in their knowledge are and so that we can actually help them further, perhaps over the summer holidays, continue with this catch up process. Year 10 are a fantastic year group. And I can hand on heart say it's been a, sorry, been a privilege for me to work with them since they were in year seven. We are trying with this four step process to ensure that they're all in the best possible position in September to start their year 11 studies. That none of them are having to worry about what they've missed, what they don't understand and what they haven't got and they don't, you know, haven't covered because they'll all be at the same point ready to move forward.
this will give them the opportunity to concentrate on what they need to do for their GCSE exams and be the best person that they can be. Please email me if you have any questions about this process or if you need any help or any advice or support in how we can help your child progress. And finally from me, thank you. Thank you for your time and listening to this and thank you for your support with our wonderful Year 10.